What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Ariel, if you didn't know. So today's video is going to be one that's actually requested. So it's going to be all about not just retention, but volume retention. Okay, so there are a couple things that are a little bit different when it comes to classic lashes and volume lashes in terms of retention. Of course, you want high retention in both because that's just your overall service. But there are a couple things that you need to know about volume retention that don't necessarily apply to classic retention. So my first thing is all about priming and cleansing. Obviously, this is something that we know we need to prime and cleanse. But the reason why I'm emphasizing it a little bit more on volumes is just because you want to make sure that your base is completely completely clean, completely oil free. So that way when you place your fan, it doesn't slip and slide and then mess up in terms of direction placement, or even just kind of getting tangled into other fans. Cause when you brush it, it can easily pop off. Number two is your volumes actually need a friend. What I mean by that is your fans are not meant to be singly placed and meant to stay there alone. Your friends, your fans need a buddy. They need to be supported by another fan. So what I mean by that is that when you place your fan, it needs another fan right beside it to hold it up. And that way these fans work together to kind of create its own like bridge, if you will, and they support each other. So that's why when they start to fall off and you start to get gaps, they tend to fall off faster when there are spaces in between them. But when you have a nice set of fans that are placed closely together and then you're lashing every lash beside each other, that way your lashes have a nice uh, support system and then they can hold up a lot longer. So this is why I also emphasize lashing every single lash, well, lashes that are able to lash, because you never want to place a lash and then skip a few, place another lash and say, hey, it looks good, but the space between this fan and this fan are so far off from each other, maybe like it's barely touching and they're not supporting each other. So then that lash can just pop right off because there's nothing there holding it up. Make sense? Okay, and then speaking of placing your lashes, my last one is really and truly placement. Your placement is so important. Your placement is literally all that your lashes depend on. What I mean is that yes, of course, you wanna make sure in classics that your lashes are straight and all that good stuff. And that's why it's so important to learn classics first because you wanna make sure your placements are good when you come to, into volumes because now it's not just about the look of the lashes. Placing your lashes is a big impact on your actual retention. If you're placing your lashes in the wrong direction or you're placing your lashes at the wrong area of the natural lash, like if it's too close to the left, too much on the right, then you're weighing down the natural lash in the way that it's not supposed to be weighed down. You're putting it too close to one side so that way the natural lash can easily break because there's too much weight on one side or when you brush it, it can pop off because it's not balanced. To keep your natural lashes healthy, you need to make sure that you are balancing the weight of these fans on the natural lashes for them to keep high retention and keep them super, super healthy. Okay guys, that is it for this video. I hope that you love these tips. I hope that you found them helpful. I hope that they're not the most simple tips that you normally hear and there's something new that you can work on in this video. But don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe and I'll be back with something new next time. Bye.